Conch, check this out. What's up, dude? Let me know what you think. Don't she look fine, though? She's cute. I, Bomb. I don't go for the Who looks apps. fine? Her right there, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. But what about that girl from the mall? The girl from the mall? Man, she was crazy. 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 You don't think those really? girls in the apps are crazy? Uh, not this one. I haven't, I haven't met her yet. But the one from the mall that I did meet? Crazy. What kind of crazy? Like, uh, like Harley Quinn, you know, beat you with bat crazy? Yeah. Or, like, you know, maybe explode your car, uh, car bomb crazy? Uh... <laughs> Conch, who would you go for? Um, I'd go for uh, spend all the holidays like Deadpool crazy, except for International Women's Day. Oh, yeah. That looked painful. Yeah, that hurt. You think she yeah. put something in my car? Uh, dude, I don't know. I mean, crazy, you know? Crazy I saw, crazy. I saw someone at your car earlier. Hold on. I'll be back. Oh, I guess we found out what kind of crazy that was. Car trouble. Break Room Blitz. Thanks for watching. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. My boy Conch here. So we just came back from seeing when the bow breaks. <laughs> so I had I made them go see a black movie, an African American <laughs> film. I would have saw it. We were not gonna just see nothing but big blockbusters. <laughs> so plus this one looked good. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to see. It. I didn't want to see it just because it was that. But that was an added bonus. Um, so, uh, we got Morris Chestnut in it, we got Regina Hall, you guys probably all know her, uh, then we got some newcomers, for me anyway, um, yeah, yeah. Jazz Sinclair, I thought she was really good, and then we have Theo Rossi, Rossi, not really sure exactly how to pronounce it, sorry guy, but, um, <laughs> sure. so, pretty much it's about, um, a couple that couldn't have kids, and they needed a surrogate, and they find a surrogate, let her move in. There's she kind of crazy. She starts falling for Morris Chestnut, as probably most of you guys would, and <laughs> <laughs> and things just like pop off from there. Yeah. So I'm glad I went to go see it. I enjoyed it. I think we're as as, as, as African Americans, we were breaking into different genres. And to me, I thought that it was a good look for that type of genre. Uh, what did you guys say to you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, that's a really good point because it's not a movie that's that I've actually seen, like, that scenario, and it's, it's a big topic, too, you know? Right. It's actually one of those hard-hitting issues because uh, not everybody could, you know, you could adopt, but if you want to have your own kids and you can't, then that's the other way to go about right. it. But there's a lot of drama behind it. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you put that in the African-American cast and, like, man, I, I can't imagine it with anybody else. Any other actors, it would have probably not went down like that. The, the drama really, behind yeah. it, it was, pre it was pretty intense. Yeah, this definitely, movie did, definitely had a good concept. It, it, the one thing it reminded me of is there was a movie back in the day with Alicia Silverstone called The Crush. Okay. And it was the same concept. Crazy, crazy little girl who was all gung-ho over this, this dude. But the whole pregnancy thing, the the surrogate, that was the the difference in this and the storytelling. Yeah, it was it was great. I, I loved it a lot. It was like Juno with a crazy twist. Yeah, yeah. it was a crazy Juno. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, now I'm gonna keep the baby unless you give me money. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. it wasn't even crazy. Like this is a high level of bad shit crazy. And pardon my French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Absolutely. would you say people should go see it? I think people yeah. should definitely go see it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would it. say go see it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you have kids or if you've ever been in a really crazy relationship. All right, so let's do our um, our blitz here. I, I, I'll go if you guys don't mind. Yeah. Um, so for me, I thought it was great. I'm a lover of love, and that couple they loved each other from the, their inner soul. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. I need that one day. <laughs> um, we got we got our. Uh, Hero the villain complex oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. I got my intellectual value because I wasn't necessarily sure how they were going to pull this off because they do have a baby to to to, to give birth to. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, how are we going to pull this off in a way where you know the birth makes sense and they can you know wrap up the story? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I definitely got my intellectual value. Uh, there were some things that were kind of predictable, but I mean, in thrillers, it's kind of like you know what's going to happen. It, it has to end a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, I. To me, like I said, if I'm not laughing, it's not a good slasher. It's kind of like a slasher a little bit. I definitely laughed at some of those uh, scenes in there, some of the yeah. brutal scenes. I was dying laughing. That's mm -hmm. just 
that's how I am. So I definitely enjoyed that. Um, I, I I thought that you really got to connect with the characters. I don't want to go too deep into that right now, but I thought you got to really connect with them, and that's what I really liked. That it, that it was when they flipped the script. It was like, oh man, really? Yeah. Because you were yeah. so like this, and now you're totally opposite. But that's how people in real life are. Right. So mm -hmm. I would give it an 8 out of 10. There were some things that I kind of didn't like, some things that were kind of like, oh, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed it, and then definitely I appreciate it as a different avenue that African American films are going into. Um, it was, it, I can kind of say it was just a film. Mm -hmm. it, 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 I mean, it was all, all American, African American cast, mm -hmm. but it wasn't just issues that we would have in our community. It's issues that everyone could possibly have. Yeah. So it was we're kinda of going towards that just a film that had just had mostly African Americans. So I would definitely say you should go see it. Yeah. yeah. I, I I mean I, I absolutely agree with everything that you say and just like reiterates just like a, an original story is what it was, you know. But it's like an issue that's been around for a while. I just haven't seen a movie yeah. uh, you know, put together with as good as uh, idea uh, that this movie was. Uh, so I mean, as far as originality, I love that because we're not getting a lot of that. We're getting a lot of reboots that I'm always bringing up. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, you know, yeah, the acting was on point. Uh, you know, I got that sense of, you know, we got this husband and wife and they bring in this third party to get, uh, you know, to actually grow, help grow their family. Um, but it kind of works against them. Uh, you know, you got these people that are always going to swindle or like, you know, take advantage of the love that you have for whatever it might be and take that as a weakness. But, mm -hmm. you know, you stick it through, love will prevail, and that's pretty much what this movie showed. They stuck it through, and, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, was, it was a really good story about that, and, yeah, I, I would, if I had to rate it, I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10, maybe 8.5 out of 10. It was good. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah no, um, I completely agree, so tread, tread on the lawn here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of things I liked about the movie. I got my hero to villain complex on a high tier, because you, you almost got two villains. Yeah. Um, you know, because yeah. you know, one thing you didn't bring up so far is that the boyfriend and that guy was just, he was just bad. Like he didn't care. He cared about money. That's all he did. And he, you know, he just. And what sucked is, you know, I don't, I don't want to drop any bones, but the, the, the you know, uh, the couple. I definitely appreciated the the values. She, she stuck with her man. She trusted in her man. He, you know, and he he was very. He was. I felt bad for him because he was pushed to limits that no man should have to be pushed to. Period. Yeah. yeah, and you know he he you can tell he was struggling with it. There was no ifs ands or buts. He was having a hard time. Period. But the thing is, since she was a backbone and she believed in him, despite all the the crap that could be mixed in, she she, she held it. She held it. I, I, yeah, the movie overall, I'm gonna give it an eight point five, uh, only because I can relate to it on a current current level, and I appreciated a lot of the factors of the movie, and I got my hero to villa complex times two. So. Yeah. It's very rare that I get that in a movie nowadays, so... I am glad that they liked it. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you don't want any spoilers, time for you to turn it off now. You got how we felt about it, our rating, so... If you don't want to know any more, yeah, stick around. Right. We're gonna talk about. It. <laughs> now we're gonna discuss. Getting the nitty gritty. All right. All right. So spoiler alert. Here we go. <laughs> spoiler alert. Damn. Um, <laughs> any, any movies that this reminds you of? Besides, I know we already said Juno. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah, Juno would have to be one, and then I mean, yeah, there's always gonna be like those, you know, psycho boyfriend, psycho girlfriend kind of movies. I know that there was like one with like you know uh, Mark Wahlberg when he was like super young, and he did like a crazy kind of boyfriend movie like that, and then another one. With like you know some other chicks that are crazy like the one that you the brought crush, up. Crush is probably the most I have yeah. closest to it. So I mean, but uh, as far as along the line of like surrogate mother and then like you know turning it into a thriller, I can't remember of anything like that. Yeah, it is um, pretty original. It reminded me of Obsessed. I don't know if you guys have seen that, no, but it's I mean, Idris Elba and Beyonce, and they're a family, a tight knit family, and this one person comes and they kind of like break it up and then or she kind of breaks up their family and then oh yes now i remember yeah i did see that movie right yes it's like that it except is... you they put a, like a couple more elements right yes beyonce gets down though right and that's what i would have liked i would have liked to see a a, 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 a chick fight, fight scene yeah yeah uh, yeah uh, that's that's what kind of like knocked it down for me. I feel like bit. that's the one thing that was missing too yeah, but are, can thing. you fight like a pregnant woman is a thing are you good Slap the hell out of You can slap the <laughs> If I was a girl? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, 
All right. So, um, anything moved you at all as far as like? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, as far as you know, the the concept of it itself that you know, it, obviously, you got this couple that really wants a baby, and and that you're taking away the the surrogate mother is taking away the only thing that they actually want. You know, money and family, and uh, I mean, money and you know, material things aside. You know, you know, there was a point in the movie where the husband actually says like. It's like, fine, you know what, if you're going to take our baby, I can't stop you, but you know what, you're going to have to raise that baby yourself, and, you know, me and my wife, we'll, we, we've been through tough times, and we'll have to rebuild again, but, you know, that's the right. type of person we are. I um, love that scene, yeah. Yeah. because he flips it on her, because it wasn't, because I was expecting him to be like, no, 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 don't go, don't go, right. and play kind of like a victim. I'll, give you, I'll give you whatever you want. He wasn't like yeah. it. He was like, you know what, then get your ass out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, who are you going to be after this? Right, he calls her bluff. He calls her Definitely. out on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really tied up to the whole lawyer thing because he's a lawyer. You know, he knew it. He knew that he could pull that card out. And, um, you know, I, I, I will honestly say that this, this, this male um, character in this movie mm -hmm. is someone to aspire to because literally, I mean, one, him and his wife had a disconnection because, you know, she, she couldn't have kids. So she was feeling inadequate about herself mm -hmm. right? and so he, you know as far as intimacy go you can tell they were lacking in their relationship but you know what she gave it to him eventually and it works it out and then you go up on the scale he's being he's being tempted by this this freaking gorgeous other woman yeah. like she, she, shows, <laughs> she shows up like bing bang boom like yeah <laughs> several and times. she shows up in that red dress and and she's got all the right everything and everything. she's tempting him mm -hmm. and you know he dabbles a little bit he's like oh damn and then like he's like no stop and then like she's like are you sure do it again and he clicks on the video sure enough again you know he, he dipped in twice and but then he's like no out you know and, and yeah. he he realized this is what i want and he, st he stuck with his wife and that, that's just the thing like that that's a that's a man to aspire to like yeah you, you get you're getting yeah. nicked a little bit but you know what i'm gonna stand my ground yeah. he kept his I'm integrity gonna, intact yeah. and his morals and everything i love that they actually gave back to the community too they would do yeah. fundraisers for the um, boys and girls club i think yeah. that's an awesome yeah. um i guess organization to donate to i think that's because yeah. what they do because sometimes you don't you don't know what what you can accomplish until you see someone else doing something as a big brother or a big sister. Yeah. And then they, they show you these things and take you to these places. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I can be more than what it is, than what I am now. You know, so I, I, I think that's an awesome organization. Yeah. Um, I, what moved me was the teamwork that they had as a couple. Right. You know, it was it doesn't matter what happened. I love you, mm -hmm. you love me, and that's all we need. It doesn't, yeah, they this were, house they doesn't were partners, matter, yeah. the kid doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have a kid, we'll still be together. That's mm -hmm. their success. Right. Know? Money aside, that's their success. You don't want to, it's, it's a, such a small scene. It's, well, it's such a small entry to the film, and you don't, kind of, you don't catch on to it right away. But, you know, um, when she got the promotion, you know, she's like, I have to be out here longer, I have to do this, I have to do that. And he's like, you, you really don't need to take it. Like, you know, we got the baby coming, we got this, and... You know, she ended up doing typically what most would do, go for the money. And um, I really love the fact that she came home early. Because that yeah. tells me as a woman, she realizes, you know what? I got someone at home I need, I, I need to be with right now. I've got things mm -hmm. going on. I need to be there. So she booked it for that. Like, mm -hmm. you didn't even have to, she didn't have to say that. She, it was just like, that meant a lot. I'm sitting there going like, yes, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, I mean, like, there's a lot of character, like, the dynamic of a couple, yeah. and, um, yeah, it's just, it, 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 you know, I liked it. Yeah. There's definitely yeah. something to aspire to. You don't see it a lot in this world. Yeah. So I think those type of movies are needed, because there's so many agendas that get pushed out in, in theater and in TV. Mm -hmm. I think happily ever after agenda should be pushed sometimes yeah it might not always be achievable but give me something yeah well see that's the thing too is like most movies it, it, the one thing i did also appreciate with this movie is other movies would have went the other direction they would have made the guy you know fall into the hole and and sleep with her and do the whole and then like cause the stir the pot even more mm -hmm. i actually recently saw a movie with keanu reeves where that happened you know like him and his wife were having you know so she's so preoccupied he's kind of left at the dwell and then these, um, you know, these two chicks show up, and he blows them off. Like he's doing really good about, you know, no, 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 no. And then, bam, they they catch him, and they catch him off guard, and he ends up being weak, and he gives him the temptation. That knock knock. Yeah, yeah, and you know, it was it was I was kind of I was really pissed off with the movie actually, because I'm sitting there just thinking like that's all that that's really fucked up, because it's like if you really look at it, he didn't do anything wrong. He got 
heavily manipulated, and it sucks. But at the same time with this movie, I love the fact that they didn't do that. He no. didn't cave. She didn't fall in the hole and believe the lies that she was saying about him. Mm-hmm. And, it, you know, it's and that, very that, rare that, that you see that. I actually thought that that's the way this movie was going to go. Was yeah. That, you know, this this oh, yeah. uh, this other surrogate mom was going to say that, like, we've been sleeping together and all this stuff, throw out all these lies, and that his wife was just going to be like, Betrayed, what? Like, we're over. We're, we're over, done yeah. with. And you know? He, like, yeah, you're, you're going to take her side. Well, yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, like, he also had that look, too, like, like... You know, like, I have no idea what to say. It's exactly the way a man would respond. Like, I don't know what to say right now. And of course, no, I don't freaking no. And he yeah. says that. And it's just like, that's the first thing out of his mouth. But that usually the woman could take that it's as like, a who, sign. Who are you like, going to trust? You're yeah. going to trust your husband or are you going to trust this other, like, yeah. stranger? Look at me. No, that's how I feel. I know a lot of women don't. But now, would you guys, or do you think your woman will let another woman stay in your home for free? Uh, like, you that, know what? Well, give, give you ladies, a, let us know because I feel like you wouldn't. You know what? Give well, the circumstances. The circumstance. Yeah, give, give, yeah, give them the circumstance because they they have let a stranger, a woman, fine, young, and she acknowledges sexy too. The, 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 the wife acknowledges it. She's all she's all, she's okay. pretty. She's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. You know. But I mean, like, okay, so given the circumstance, if I was putting his shoes where you know they had like a. a back house a house in the back you know it's like you can stay here because she just got you know beat up by her abusive boyfriend mm-hmm. so you know what stay here you're holding my kid we got to make sure that you're 100 percent healthy because that's going to be my baby you know i don't think so, that would happen so but you know stay in the house we, we'll, but i'm we'll not giving you a hotel room i'm not giving you the key to my house <laughs> you stay in that house over here and you're not welcome but i'm just talking about like, as a man we are visual creatures you know and you have this young woman walking around with this bomb ass shape mm-hmm. with this pretty face <laughs> all in the same looking at you googly eyes She's crazy. I feel like as a grown woman you know not to let no little girl like that stay in your house back house couch whatever you want to call it mm-hmm. it's all yours I don't think that would have happened and then it's gonna, it's so gonna we're, we're gonna get you a hotel okay? <laughs> right, we will get you a hotel <laughs> find you somewhere to stay right and I kind of would have agreed because as a man it is a little rough mm-hmm. to be faithful sometimes, you know. And if you got this young one walking around with my baby in her belly, talking about, oh, I have a little bit of, of you inside me. Oh, no. Oh, my crazy. God. When she says, <laughs> actually, as a, as a guy, if, if I, like, immediately, like, when she said that, I think I leaned over to you, too. I was like, red flag, red flag, get the hell out, get the hell out. <laughs> yes. And I was just like, no. Like, Aboard that's it. just like, <laughs> right. the moment now you get that taste, you're like, you're oh, like, man. okay, Pandora's box is open. That can happen. Get the hell out. Like, yeah, you know, or, or I need to get out of here. And you, you notice too, he ended up staying at work longer. He he, he, knew, <laughs> like, he knew already. Oh, you work today, Sunday. Yeah, though, it, so it is hard, especially you got someone that's well, throwing I mean, it at you. Well, that's that, that, the yeah. thing too. His, him and his wife were having issues with that that connection. So I mean, of course, it's gonna freaking be like, oh, so there's another plate on the table now. So it's just like, but he did the right thing. But that's that's another thing, like. I'm glad that they played it off that way because mm-hmm. it's, if if they didn't do that, then it wouldn't show wouldn't have shown what a man should do, you know, in that case, yeah. and how strong a man can be. So therefore, when you don't see stuff like that, you you're gonna think to yourself, "Oh, I'd do the same thing. I, I'd give in." But now I'm looking at it saying, "I can do that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do that." And and it, it, it as I say, it inspires you to, to to reach for those goals. Definitely. Yeah. So, now, you mentioned the boyfriend. Yeah. What did yeah. you guys think about him? I thought that he was class, a class act. He, he I thought what he brought was, it, I don't know, it was just like, I almost wanted to be like him a little bit. Like, I could what? be that, <laughs> that like, he always suave. Because he was like, not, well, he, and he ended up being that way. But he was like, when in the beginning, he was like this prestigious young man. Yeah. Right. I'm in the military. Right. And even when he's interacting with, you know, when he goes to jail and he's interacting with, um, the, the male character and, he, and he's just like oh well thanks thanks yeah. for visiting like, I don't know like his how the hell are you doing man you know it's right like, like he didn't he, didn't, he wasn't he, he was intimidated phased. Yeah, right. he, he yeah. wasn't phased by anything you know and I think that like you know we, we barely have like a, a rough understanding of where he's coming from so yeah when it comes down to the boyfriend you know he was just like a, a new level of like villain you know where he's like very manipulative he's kind of a creep you know he's kind of weird and eerie he was charming and, though 
yeah, but that's the part that kind of sucks you in. It's kind of just like that that poison kind of you know uh, yeah, apple. Yeah. You know, it's just like very toxic uh, personality that he was. You know, so I mean, like he he's manipulating the one uh, uh, girlfriend of his to be the surrogate mother of these people and swindle the couple out of saying, no, I don't want to have this baby anymore. Give me knowing, money. No, no, yeah, g get money out of it, and, and knowing that you know she can get away with whatever she wants to do and get as much money out of these people because it's her last embryo. It's the only time that they could ever have a kid, right. you know? Uh, so he, he's he's manipulating her. He plays a very manipulative role. I thought, you know, his acting was pretty much like, like a whole, like a whole nother level of crazy. It yeah. was a different type of acting. It wasn't even crazy. He was just a vindictive person. Like he just he had he did a, it so well. He, he like did. someone so new. He had I, a I, different I agenda. Yeah, yeah. He he uh, had a plan of attack. To, to see to see this guy maybe in a villain role, like an all out villain role, more through a duration of a movie. I'm curious because it's like the way he played this character. I'm sitting there. He he was bad for the sake of being bad. Yeah, yeah. and that's just you, you rarely get that on film nowadays because they always have the transform villain, and that's what the, the beautiful thing about this movie is. You you got the transform villain, and you got the he's just a villain like right. flat out. I'm bad to be bad, and like that's what really hyped this movie up for me. I'm sitting there going like I hate that guy. Like I really hate him. And, and I like seeing like new faces, new actors. You know, yes, and that was so and, refreshing. And mm -hmm. yeah, it, it is so refreshing because like he did a great. Like he he was on point to his you know persona, uh, being that villain role, and it, it was a new actor, it's somebody that I've never seen before. I don't remember seeing him or, or the surrogate yeah. mother either. So. Yeah, right. and she did a great job too. Like I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. When she, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go back. It was like the Matrix back in the day. It's like, were you paying attention to me, or were you looking at the woman in a red dress? And I'm the like, red dress, red dress, hundred <laughs> percent red dress. And then just the way she yes. did, her, did her hair, I was like. Oh no! And what I like <laughs> red flag, go go go! Right. Was that they? She was wearing the red they flag. They showed her to be sexy, but they didn't like. There was no titties. There was no, no like no, it was classy. Like there, that, there was no okay. no Yeah, yeah. It was actually a social one thing I wanted to bring up too. Was like so like I, I've got this like back alley thing where I love Audrey Hepburn because she's got that classy beauty. This woman had the same thing. She she presents herself like a woman. Not you know hanging out everywhere. Not not the you know she walked like a woman. She she didn't over gesture and it was like that's classy. Like we yeah like so I loved her innocence. Like yeah I don't know I like a woman that has a bit of innocence. I don't like a rough chick too much. Mm -hmm. Wholesome yeah right. I, I like that you know but still not like you know someone you can not, not a pushover but still knows how to be a lady. Yeah and to me she brought that hundred percent mm -hmm. and I was just like man. You gonna be crazy? Cause I saw the trailer, of course. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, why you gotta be crazy? <laughs> like, like, if you're gonna be crazy, just be crazy right now, and not, don't, don't get me involved. Right, in this. I'm all falling in love with you and stuff on screen. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, she really did it for me. I, I want to see her in some more stuff for yeah. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and this thing is, she she did actually want to be good, but she also was in love with the dude. So it's it's a catch twenty two. I like that so much. Yeah, because yeah. it's like you you got to see that that you know she realized she was getting a chance. And if this dude wasn't puppet master back here, but and she did what she had to do, like I mean, right? You know, so it's like it's it's I don't know that it, it's, it hard to, like it's hard to it's hard to not like her character. Her character was just exactly it amazing. allowed you to like her a little bit more. Yeah, it right. wasn't like she was just in on the plan from the get go. No, no yeah, she was the get and she she didn't do anything to the baby. You know, she kept the baby safe. You know, it, it's just like she wasn't an evil person. She just she wanted to be loved. Essentially, and, if you really think and I mean, about she, it, that's she, all she wanted. She, she was a victim. I mean, uh, yeah. they, they, they gave us a, a background because she was uh, uh, checked into, like, you know, uh, foster home and she was abused and that. Yeah. So we kind of got that and, and you know. Yeah, we got a little history of why she was crazy. But, yeah. I mean, you know, she, she got, well, like she got she's pushed crazy. into a she corner, just, too. Yeah, you know? she just, you know, she like I said earlier, she did what she had to do. No, she's crazy. Yeah, yeah, she, she's, she's crazy. crazy. Yeah, she's well, crazy. she went crazy what? later. Yeah. She's yeah. Like, crazy. Yeah. She, she's like, I want this. She's, I she know. tried to be a good citizen. Yeah. But mm -hmm. ultimately, she needs a therapist because she, she yeah. breaks down. She, 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 she breaks, yeah, she wouldn't. Yeah. She, <laughs> she's emotionally unstable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she's emotionally unstable. She couldn't, like, reform to, you know, society again. Yeah. yeah. She's exactly. going to take someone else's man. Talking yeah. about, you really inside me. Yeah. You want you to be with me. Yeah. Like, what is happening right now? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and put those scissors down? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was such an awesome scene, yo. 
<laughs> when he comes so, in, so she's, she, like, she's like, I love you. And he's just like, Han Solo, like, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now put those scissors down. And let's yeah, they they ever, tuck you into bed. If they ever brought in a new, like, Han Solo character in the Star Wars universe, he better be it. Right. Like, it was straight up like, yeah, I he, love you. He was really suave about I it. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was an awesome scene. Um, and we're not going to give away too many things. We do want to discuss it. Um, but we don't want to give away two things. There's going to be some things that everyone in the theater is going to be talking about. It's going to be yeah. a moment where everyone's going to be like, what? Oh, oh hell no. You're going to know everyone. Yeah. Everyone's everyone. going to be doing it because everyone did it when we were in the theater. Yeah, it was, it was actually funny because usually like, this, when I watch movies, you don't want to have people talking. And, but at the same time, like when this scene happened and you hear everybody going like, oh, hell. <laughs> I was like, I was like, because that, yeah, that justified right. though. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing. Like that is that scene particularly. I don't I like. Well, and I'm guessing you don't want to get into it. But that scene particularly, like you're going to sit there and be like, "Damn!" Like you have to think about it for a second, and you don't want to. Right. Right. I'm. A, I just want to let you guys experience it because you don't get a lot of moments like this in theaters. So I think we're not going to talk about that. Yeah. But it's going to be a time where everyone's just going to start chit chatting. And, and our theater was pretty crowded, and everybody got yeah, to talk. Everybody was yeah. just like, everyone what? was talking. And we were asking yeah. people on the way out of the theater, and it was just, it was funny. Like they're it's like, like, would you allow something like, this? Some, <laughs> like I don't know. Right. Like, I had to ask. I, yeah. I don't know. I, I and I'm glad you won't let yeah. me be quiet. Right. So I had to ask someone. If that happened, would you let that go down? Yeah, I won't say what they say. But yeah. Yeah. watch the movie and comment. You'll know what Absolutely. scene we're talking about. Comment and tell us yes or no. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I think that's a that's a wrap. That's, that's a wrap. wrap. I think I would say go go see it for sure. I don't know what um, IMDb or I think IMDb gave it like a four. I don't agree with that mm. at wow. all. Um, I don't know harsh. what Rotten Tomatoes gave it, but uh, I would say it was a good movie. It's, it's a it's an original movie, like you were saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's worth a worth a watch for sure. Definitely, it's a suspenseful thriller drama. Take, you know? Go see it with your girl. <laughs> yeah, with your girl <laughs> or someone you want to be your girl, so you guys can get an idea of what a successful relationship could be like. Right. I, I would say go see it for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely think it would bring up conversations afterwards. This is good because you got you end up discussing teamwork and uh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about it all the way to the car. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing. <laughs> it has us talking. Right. Yeah. You know? So and the intellectual value. That's when there. you know it was a good video, a good movie video. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, that, that's when you know, like we spent, even now, like I think we still like bring it up and we're just sitting there going like, yeah, remember that part? And just, yeah. Yeah. You're going to like it. Definitely go see Check it. Check it out. All right. It's Break Room Blitz, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share us. We definitely want to spread our knowledge or our definitely. opinions. All over the world if we can. Spread them. <laughs> Guys, also check out the different segments we've got. We've got a, a, Don, a Don's Car Reviews. We've got the Toy Box. We've got D'Anthony. Check it out because we've got a lot more content up there now. And we do, definitely want some feedback on all that stuff. So, Yeah, let us know what you think. We appreciate any comments. We'll, we'll, we will try to um, respond to them if we can. Uh, we don't get a lot, so we're not used to them being there. Yeah, so. if, you guys, if you guys want us to watch anything particularly, or, or maybe like if we're, you know you see this doing a consistency of unboxing, like hit, hit us up, tell us what you guys want, and you know we'll see if we can go ahead and you know compliment you on that. All right, I'm DeAnthony, Alan, Nakanch, and we're out. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace. Have a good one. Hey Derek, you got my SD card? What SD card? What SD card? Hey, hey, I'm asking, do you have my SD card? Damn it! Oh! You, God damn it! I warned you. Silent but deadly.